In the booth, Nick, with Mohamed Amin, who is headlining the inaugural PFL Europe versus Simeon Powell this Saturday on The Zone. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, you seem, because uh, your opponent is pretty loud-mouthed, he's, he's talking a lot, and uh, you seem really unbothered and really confident in your demeanor. Like, where does it come from, this confidence? I'm confident in myself because I know uh, what I'm made of, I know how I trained, I know who I train with. And if people talk a lot, yeah, they don't walk the walk. But they talk the talk, but they don't walk the walk, so we'll see this Saturday. How much of that comes from your extensive, because you have an excellent uh, kickboxing record in glory before you transition to MMA, right? Yeah. So what, does, does a lot of your confidence come from that like uh, kickboxing style and the legend that you have in your corner as well? Yeah, also, also <laughs> that, also that, but also what I said, I. I think I had like 40 fights, uh, kickboxing and MMA in total. I think in total, seven MMA fights, eight MMA fights, including amateur, mm -hmm. and like uh, yeah, 30 plus kickboxing fights. So for me, this is nothing new. The headlining, this is not my first time I headline an event. I think my first fight ever, I was headlining an event in the Netherlands on a small show. Oh, man, yeah, so yeah, yeah, for me, I don't fault on the pressure. Just I living perform. in the moment. Yeah, just, just living in the moment. Just it, enjoy yeah. everything. Just enjoy this. Enjoy the shit talk. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, so we're, we're a big kickboxing country in the Netherlands, and yeah. um, MMA is like coming up. There's a lot more interest in it. Yeah. Like, what, what, what made you decide to switch and try it out? The thing was, uh, was, a, was a coincidence because uh, I used to help a lot of UFC fighters with, with kickboxing. And I tend to have a, a good, good, a great takedown defense by watching UFC fights. <laughs> Already. <laughs> and there was once uh, was this UFC fighter, don't call his name. He flew me out to help him with his uh, with his camp, and he was paying me a salary. Oh, he was paying me a salary. Like the, okay. the, the just a week, sparring, just uh, for sparring. Today. Yeah. But I was like 19, 20, mm -hmm. and I beat up this guy. <laughs> with sparring, beat him up. And then afterwards, I uh, I just looked his net worth up on Google, and I said this guy was like making 150, 200 thousand. Yeah. And when kickboxing, we didn't make that much, as much. Yeah. So I thought, yeah, well, let's let's just do a little bit of MMA because I was uh, I think four years later, five years later, I'd made my debut, but it was by also by coincidence because at first I had a kickboxing match, yeah. and they asked me to, uh, yeah. To, it was the last replacement fight. Can you fight in uh, seven, uh, seven days at heavyweight? I was 92 kilos. The guy was 122. <laughs> Took the fight with all the risk. Knocked him out in 20 seconds. Then I had the other fight a month later. Knocked him also out in 20 seconds. And yeah, I think I had like four fights in four months. All, all by coincidence. So. <laughs> <laughs> like just, I like this. Like, I like knocking I like these out. hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It's, so. But also it's, also, it's also a beautiful sport because yeah. it's not only the money. It's not only money-wise because <laughs> my my first love is kickboxing. Yeah. But um, so the opponent is a wrestler and I'm a kickboxer. So how we are we gonna solve this? That's what I like about fighting. Yeah. That's what yeah, I like yeah. about fighting because it's for me. I, I, I'm just two years professional, uh, I like six fights, and I'm still evolving. And that's what I like about MMA, I'm still evolving as a fighter. Well, because there's so many disciplines in it, it's like hard to perfect yeah. you know, all of it. Yeah. There's not a single fighter probably that's perfected every one of them. No. But you're, So your opponent says he can like win the fight wherever it goes. Do you believe that? Like, do you, what? I think by the way, how you said it, you, you, you don't believe it also. <laughs> I mean, like, so uh, w would you would you like try to push this into a stand up war a little bit? Do you expect him to also sort of try to play with you on the feet? Or? What, what, I do, what I don't like is they, they talk about me just like I'm just a kickboxer. They don't yeah. respect the work I put in. I train with the best guys. I train with the best wrestlers, the best judo guys, the best grapplers. So they don't respect where I come from. And this is what he does. He disrespects us. And he talks like he's the great, great, great fighter. He's been taken down every fight. Um, he's been hit every fight. Uh, mm -hmm. I think his only flawless fight was his, the last fight, but he also got hit in this fight. And yeah. I, I, don't, like I don't like I don't like the way they talk about 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 me. No. I don't care to be honest. I don't I really like don't care <laughs> to be honest. But I, he said he can detect the, uh, detect the fight, but he never does. So why now? He always pushes backwards. He lets the guy pressure. He, he trying trying to throw low, leg kicks, the right knee, uh, the jab. But he doesn't believe in his punch. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of talk. It's a lot of talk from a guy who doesn't fight perfect. It so looks yeah. like you have discovered those holes then in the game and everything. And yeah, I like that you bring the confidence from the f fact that like, hey, as long as I can hit him, <laughs> as long as he's been hit before, 
I can do it and I can like you have probably yeah, but, confidence but, but in your power only, and technique. But, only, but not only the striking department yeah. because uh, what I said, he's been taken down by guys who there was not a takedown. Uh -huh. There were no wrestlers. So I think I think what he says, uh, likewise, you no, know, I think I can put the pressure. I, I, I always put the pressure in every fight. So <laughs> you're gonna sneak in a takedown, aren't you? Then <laughs> <laughs> Hardy said this, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm not a wrestler. I'm not a wrestler. I'm a good striker. Yeah. I'm one of the best in the world. Uh, I'm fighting top ten in glory. So yeah, but I will maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe if there's opportunity, I will take it. <laughs> Tap so them out. <laughs> it's uh, that would be insane, man. Right? I don't know the odds on that. I'm like the tap out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, when um, because we, so Netherlands, we don't have too many n names at the top of you know top of MMA right now, and this is your opportunity to like be one of those people yeah. that the country can sort of look up to. Do you feel an obligation or sort of um, to be a role model for these people coming up in the sport? Hmm. Yeah, I hope to be. I hope to be. I hope to show people that it's possible. If you believe in something, it's possible to achieve it. Because uh, when I said my MMA career went really fast, I had like four fights in four months, and then I had only two fights in one year. And after that, <coughs> PFL knocked on my door. And I said immediately, less, uh, immediately yes. So I just want to show people if you believe in something, just do it. Just manifest it and it will happen. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I don't feel for, like I don't feel any pressure. No pressure. Yeah. No, man. Yeah, I feel like it comes with you because you just you have had so many fights in your career already. So yeah. I feel like it's just another day in the office. <laughs> yeah, know, always. But uh, this is the fight, yeah. the fighting game. Uh, win or lose, a lot can happen. You know, I, I think I, when I lost my MMA fight, nobody called me, and eight months li later, I, I finished the MMA fight, and PFL calls me. So this is fighting. This mm -hmm. is fighting. Yeah. And every every lose, every lose is a lesson. So that's what I see. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the at the end of the tournament, there is a hundred k, right? As yeah. a prize money. Like, have you already thought about what what, what you would buy, what you would spend it on? <laughs> yeah, I've already, I've already manifested uh, the hundred k. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. I said it in any other interview. I'm gonna invest it yeah, because we don't like taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna pay taxes. Nobody bro. likes taxes. Though. Maybe good it's vacation property. again. Uh, buy my daughter some beautiful gifts, and then uh, the rest I will invest. That's yeah. a good one. That's yeah, a good man. one. Hey, uh, tell the fans what they can expect on Saturday. Watch me March 25th. A lot of fireworks. I've never been in a boring fight, and I will finish this guy. Fantastic, Abel. Thank you very much. Thanks,